up everybody, it's Luis here. Today we're gonna be checking out this beautiful Toll Brothers home. This is a brand new home, never been lived in before, built in 2023. The list price is $1,295,000. It's got over 6,000 square feet. It's got an unfinished basement, five bedrooms, four bathrooms. And if you can't tell by the echo, this place is huge. Not only that, the finishes are amazing. There's so many upgrades that you're gonna find throughout the property. So I'm super excited to show you this home. But before we get right into it, I just wanna introduce myself. My name is Luis J. I'm a realtor with Weston Main Homes, licensed in the beautiful state of Colorado. If you're new to this channel, this channel is all about everything real estate, everything Denver, everything Colorado. And if you love checking out beautiful homes like this, go ahead and subscribe. If I can ever answer any questions, if you're looking to move to Colorado, please reach out. I'd be happy to help and answer any questions that you may have. So without further ado, let's get right in. This is 6649 Van Driver in Aurora, Colorado. All right, so this is 6649 South Van Driver Way in the beautiful subdivision of South Shore in Aurora, Colorado. So checking out this home, this home has five bedrooms, four bathrooms, just over 6,000 square feet total. Uh, I'm gonna give you a quick sneak peek of the living room area, open concept kitchen, beautiful, but we're gonna check that out here in just a bit. Let's start off with the first of five bedrooms. So, uh, and this is the first of four bathrooms. So you got a full bath here for your guests and for the main floor. Great, ca great cabinets here, quartz countertops, uh, chrome finishes for the faucet and a, a neutral gray kind of tan uh, color on the paint there for the wall. There you are. And then vinyl flooring throughout the entire home, carpet in the bedrooms, which we'll get to that in the upstairs. But here's that first bedroom, big, beautiful window up there. Uh, cathedral style ceilings, can lighting. Really good spacing here. I'll show you right outside the front of the home. This is what you're looking at. This is the front of the home. Your driveway right there, my car. <laughs> You've got uh, the rest of the homes down that way. And as you can see, that landscaping right there is gonna be completed in May of this year. So you won't have to worry about that dirt on the front of the home. That will be completed. Checking out the rest of the home, let's get into the formal dining. So before we head over to the beautiful living room area, we're gonna check out this formal dining room area. And you've got a nice, beautiful little chandelier here, light fixture. You can see black finishes throughout the house. That's kind of the theme. And now let's take a look at this stunning, absolutely stunning living room. Floor to ceiling gas fireplace there. If you, uh, with a wood beam on it. If you painted that as an accent color or put some stone on it, it would just look beautiful. But here's your look at uh, the kitchen. Big kitchen, big, big kitchen. I can't even describe this, uh, this island here. So this is a marble island. And I just, I wish you could touch it because it's just a huge, huge, so you can see it's actually two pieces. So it's cut right down the middle here. Um, but it flows very well and it just has a great feel to it where it actually, it's not completely smooth, but it's also not jagged enough to where, you know, you're feeling all the, all the little bumps there, but it's just a beautiful piece of stone. This is your casual dining area and a little light fixture right above that. So again, as you can see, going with the black theme here, beautiful windows, looking out to the backyard, In the living room here, you have sliding doors that actually stack so you can make all of this completely open. And we'll actually do that here in just a second. It looks stunning for that indoor outdoor living. Windows up here and these ceilings are high. You can see up to the second floor. That's your second floor kind of hallway there in the railing. This house, again, if you can't tell by the echo, this house is huge. Um, and not only is it huge, it's so well done. Going over here to the kitchen. So again, you've got the same color cabinets here. Uh, quartz countertops over here, whereas again, you have the big marble on this extended island. And again, this extended island actually is an upgrade and you've got storage space down here too, some cabinets. So absolutely beautiful. Another really awesome thing that I love and I always check is these drawers. So if you look at these drawers here, dovetail drawers, this right here are the best types of drawers. It's gonna last you the longest, so the most sturdy. Not only that, check this out. Soft clothes, that's also an upgraded feature. If I just, 
absolutely love doing the soft close. There it is, so nice. This would be your uh, your coffee bar area, and uh, even the, these cabinets here are soft close. Oh, close that one a little bit hard, my bad. There it is, boom. KitchenAid appliances, this is not a double oven. What this is actually, this is your microwave up here, and then you've got your oven down here. But nice built-in to the cabinetry there. KitchenAid appliances, again, there's your five burner gas cooktop. You've got your black tile backsplash there. KitchenAid cooktop. And again, here's your view from your kitchen. This is so nice, absolutely beautiful. Your dishwasher, formal dining. And I wanna show you these sliding doors. So give me just a moment here. I'm gonna get these sliding doors opened just so you can see what it looks like once it's all open. Beautiful. I mean, look at this. Absolutely beautiful indoor, outdoor living. Check that out. Stunning. It's a beautiful day here in Colorado if you can't tell by that blue sky. So here's your covered patio. And again, this is a quarter acre lot. So just under 1,100 square feet. And this is all yours right here. Let's take a view from the back of the home. You got the black, white, and the gray stone theme going on here. Beautiful. I'm gonna get this door closed here. Give me just one second. Perfect. All right. Now let's head to the back of the kitchen over here. So this is your pantry, walk-in pantry. As you can see, plenty of space for all your uh, groceries, everything that you need. This is a coat closet. And the reason the coat closet is tucked in over here is because this is your access to a three car garage. So you got a three car garage. Take a quick peek in here. As you can see, all drywalled, it's taped, it's not textured, but really that's all you need in a garage. So big three car garage there. This is your laundry room. So technically this would be kind of your mud room area, put a little bench there, maybe something to hang your jackets. Back to the kitchen, this is your laundry room. So you got connection over here for your dryer, here for your washer. You've got laminate countertops over here, same color cabinets, and same soft clothes. Boom. All right. Another really beautiful feature about this home is that all of this space, right? And you've still got a main floor primary suite, which I just absolutely love the main floor primary, main floor primary suites. That way you don't have to always be going upstairs for every little thing, but here is your downstairs, which we'll check that out in just a second. And this is your primary. Really good size. You got two picture windows over there. Big, beautiful picture windows here. Oh, those pocket windows over there, sorry. And this is your view. And then you've got your primary bathroom suite. So you've got a huge soaking tub, cabinets, again, these are the same cabinets, same quartz countertops. You've got a his and hers with the dual vanity there. Here's your water closet and standing shower. So you've got the 12 by 24 tile here on the ground. You've got that same tile in the shower and you've got a bench. And I just love this design feature. So you see how the, the bench starts out here and runs all the way in. It looks like it's coming through the glass, sticking out through the glass. Such a beautiful touch. And the black finishes with all the, uh, the metal pieces there. Again, massive soaking tub. So nice. It just looks so beautiful with, uh, with all the color scheme with the gray cabinets. And this is your walk-in closet. 
So vinyl flooring in your walk-in closet. And there it is. A lot of opportunity in here as well if you wanna make it a custom closet. But we'll head to the upstairs now. Upstairs you're gonna find the other three bedrooms. So again, there's your chandelier right off your entryway and we'll head upstairs. So wood railing with the steel beams there, a gray carpet. And like I said, brand new, this home has never even been lived in. So this carpet is in perfect condition. So off to the right of the stairway, the landing, you've got a loft space up here. Here's your pre-wire for television. Big window letting in lots of natural light. And here's your view from the corner. Let's check out the bedrooms. Also look how you can see from up here down to the second floor. So big, so open, so spacious, so airy. I love it. Here's a storage closet with carpet and drywall and all. Another full bath, so again, you've got 12 by 24 tile on the ground, same cabinets, quartz countertops, one sink here, and your full shower. Here is the next bedroom. This overlooks the front of the property. This is your view outside. And then it's got its own walk-in closet. All the, uh, with the exception of the downstairs bedroom, uh, right off the entryway, they all have a walk-in closet. Right over here, you'll find linen closet, plenty of closet space here. This is your mechanical room. And again, brand new home, so you know everything in here has just been installed and it's all brand new, so it's gonna last you a really long time. And then these two rooms here actually share a Jack and Jill style bedroom or bathroom, should I say? So we'll walk through. Here is one side of the bedroom. No door here. This access, this access is to the sink and your walk-in closet. But you do have this door right here and this is where the Jack and Jill begins. So you could close this, there's your toilet, and then your shower. Same style of tile and tub throughout uh, all of the home here. And then we head to the other side. So it's the exact same layout here, quartz countertops, same cabinets, walk-in closet right across that. And then your bedroom. Perfect. And that does it for upstairs. Let's head to the downstairs area, the unfinished basement. I just love this living room. I just love it so much. <laughs> Look at this. So spacious, That's probably with 20 foot ceilings here. It's stunning. All right, heading down to the basement here. Can lighting, and again, this is an unfinished basement. So in this home, you have a total of 6,107 square feet. 3,899 of that is above and finished. Whereas the rest of it is down here. So that's 2,208 square feet of unfinished basement, just waiting to be designed, waiting to be dreamt up and created as someone's masterpiece. Mechanical systems. And look at all this space. Or even a lot of people just leave it unfinished, maybe get, get to it one day. Set up your workout area down here. If you've got kids, set up a little soccer net down here, have some soccer games. But I mean, from here to the end over here of this uh, basement, I mean, you're walking from one end to the, of the home to the other, and it's absolutely massive. Look at that. Massive. So much opportunity here. So that has been 6649 South Van Driver Way in Aurora, Colorado in the South Shore subdivision. Again, this is a 2023 built, never lived in, Toll Brothers Home brass model. Now this home does have HOA, which is 135 a month. 
totals out to 1,620 per year. Sits on a quarter acre lot that's 10,980 10, square feet. And in this community, you're really not far away from DTC. You're not far away from DIA. You're not far away from downtown. You've got a lot of highways here. You've also got access to a pool and a clubhouse for the community through the HOA. And again, that backyard landscaping does need to be taken care of, but the front will be taken care of for you. So if you like this home and again, you want to check it out, or if you have any questions about other homes and other price ranges or just moving to Denver in general, please reach out. I'd be happy to help. My name is Luis. Thank you for watching. Go ahead and subscribe. And lastly, and most importantly, have a beautiful, blessed day.